Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Hero Ninja tutorial series. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to set up the di sorry the dynamic day night system. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our render panel which I already have up and we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we want to make sure that directional shadows is on. Now the reason uh, we want this on is so obviously when our day night cycling through you know it'll it will uh, look pretty nice. Now we need to load up the environmental panel so I have it right here however you won't have it right there so go to windows then environment and then check the box that says use dynamic sky okay now this bit here which does and makes it really easy you can see right now the time of day is 0 0.05 and you can just use this slider here and you can go all the way through and you can simulate moon which will then make our world bright as if obviously we have a moon but we're not going to have that okay so right here you have speed of day right now it's zero so the time of day stays static. You can click this and it will set it up so that one day is equal to five minutes. And you can put anything here. You can say put five so that one day equals four hours or one, which obviously one game day would equal 24 hours of real time. But we're gonna speed ours way up. We're gonna put it at 600. Uh, let's see, let's try a thousand. And as you can see, we're very quickly and very rapidly. I'm going to switch out a character view so we can see this. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit more to 1500. Alright. Let's go to 2500. There we go. Sorry, I want it to be a nice quick speed so we can see it transition. Now we can see we're approaching nightfall. And there we go. Now we have night. So, it's literally that easy to create a day-night system inside of Hero Engine. If you have any questions, uh, stop by their forum. Any Hero Engine specific questions. If you have any questions specific to this tutorial, please stop by my forum. As well, please follow me on Twitter if you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm doing. And be sure to join the Facebook and Steam group. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next tour. Thank you.